Hi, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts, and me and Paul are back out again with our uh, 3DR uh, Iris Plus quadcopters. Last time we flew them, they seemed like they needed a little bit of tuning, so we balanced the props, and I'm getting ready to do an auto-tune. I had to set up the radio for uh, auto-tune. I took it and put it on the, the Channel 7, where we usually have the automatic landing, so when I switch this on now, it's going to do the auto-tune. I also had to change one of the flight modes. I changed standard mode to altitude hold because that's the, the mode that it has to be in in order to do the auto tune. So it's set in altitude hold right now and I'm going to go ahead and take it off and then get it in a nice hover and then I'll flip the switch for auto tune and then the quadcopter should rock back and forth uh, side to side and front to back and set the PIDs on its own. So hopefully this goes well. Uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and arm it. All right, and then we're just going to take off and get it out in front of us a little bit so it's not crazy. And supposedly you still have control over it while it's doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it in the center of the field here. All right, man, keep your fingers crossed. Here it goes. It's drifting, and while it's drifting, you can move it back over. And then let go and it should take over again. Hmm, that's weird. Wonder what happened. Looks like it stopped doing it. Is that all it takes? Is a couple rocks? No, it says it usually takes a couple minutes to do it. Oh, now it's taken back over. It takes a second for it to go back into that mode, I guess. Let me drag it back over to the middle of the field again. All right, now it's taken back over on its own again. That's pretty cool. You don't have to manually set the PIDs. It should do it for you. And after it gets done doing the side to side, it should start rocking front to back. So basically you want to be in a big open yeah, field, Yeah, you right? need to be in an open area. <laughs> Um, like I said, you still have control over the quad. Like now, I need to get it back over this way. So I'll take it back over and bring it back in the center of the field. And you should do this on a fairly, you know, pretty calm day. It's not windy out today, so it's perfect conditions for it. And after it finds the, you know, the, the best PID settings for the side to side, it'll change it to front to back and bring it back over. It does drift quite a bit. All right, now it's, now it's pitching front to back. You can go ahead and bring it back this way a little bit more. All right. Drifting some more, let me bring it back to the center of the field. And then when it's finished, it'll stop rocking and it'll mean that the settings have been changed. Um, the nice thing about it is it doesn't save it till you land and uh, disarm the quadcopter. So after it's finished, we can uh, test fly it with the new PID settings with the switch on. And if I want to compare it, I can turn the switch off and it'll. Uh, bring it back to the original settings so I can compare the two, see how it flies. Bring it back to the center. Should be getting pretty close to done, I would think. Okay, that's cool. The app tells you when it's done. All right, so let me uh, test fly it a little bit. This is with the new settings. And I have it in altitude hold right now.
seems pretty smooth. Does it feel any different? It definitely feels smoother. Um, let me try switching it back to the original. I'm gonna turn the auto tune off. I don't know if you can notice it, Paul, but I feel it feels a little bit more rocky and with it off. Let me go ahead and uh, switch it back to the on mode. Now this is with the new settings. It definitely feels smoother to me. Does it? Yeah. It felt a little rocky in the other mode. All right, now what I really wanted to find out is I guess I'll bring it down and uh, land it first and then we'll disarm it and save the settings. What's it doing? I don't know, I'm not doing Your uh, gimbal's going crazy. Yeah. Did you restart auto tune or something? It's <laughs> not supposed to restart once it finishes it. The gimbal looks like it stopped. Shutting. I switched it off. Oh, did you? You turn it back on and see what happens. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I might have to redo the auto tune. That's what the auto tune, that's the new PID settings there. It wasn't doing that before though, was No. Alright, I'm gonna land it with them off. Okay, as you just saw in the video, both Paul and I tried to do a auto tune on the iris plus to try and get the pid settings a little bit better and it looked like it was doing pretty good at first and actually the flight afterwards felt a lot better to me but for some reason at the very end something went wrong i'm not sure what it was um, but the quadcopter just kind of started flying weird and the gimbal started shaking a lot so uh, i ended up landing it and then i brought it back to the house and connected it back up to the laptop and used mission planner and luckily there's a default setting for the Iris Plus um, already in Mission Planner. So I just uploaded all the default parameters back into it. And now it flies back the way it was before. So I'm going to have to try again, maybe later, to do another auto-tune. Because I did like the way that it felt afterwards. Um, I probably should have just landed it right after I got done doing it. And saved the settings the way they were. Instead of trying to fly it around like I did. Um, I guess we'll find out when we do it the next time. So guys, uh, until next time, thanks for watching Die Hard RC Addicts.